And uh, maybe this was Mitt Romney's uh, supermarket scanner moment, but I get the feeling, take a look at this, that Mitt Romney has not been in too many, uh, too many wah-wahs along the roadside in Pennsylvania. <sighs> By the way, where do, you, where do you get your hoagies here? Do you get them at Wawa's? Is that what you get them? <laughs> no, you get them at Sheets? Is it, where, do you, where do you get them? <laughs> Nacio. <laughs> Turkey Hill. <laughs> the delis. All right, you get them at the delis. Is that what you're saying? Well, I went to a place today called Wawa's. You ever been to Wawa's? Anybody been there? Some people don't like, I'm sorry, I know it's a very big state divided, but we went to, we went to Wawa's and it was instructed to me because I saw the difference between the private sector and the governmental sector. Look, people who work in government are good people and I respect what they do, but you see, the challenge with government is it doesn't have competition. Right. The federal government, that is. States compete all the time. I learned that. I learned how states compete. When I was governor, Arnold Schwarzenegger, fellow Republican, came to my state. He put a billboard up in my state. He was trying to poach jobs from my state to go to California. Had a picture of them, have him, you know, in a t-shirt flexing his muscles. Said, come to California. What am I to do? I put billboards up in his state. It had me in a t-shirt flexing my muscles. It said, smaller muscles but much lower taxes come to Massachusetts, right? So states, states compete. And so we learn from each other. And, and, we, and we find ways to do things better or we'll lose jobs to one another. That, that's what your governor's doing, is finding ways to do a better job. States compete, the private sector competes, but the federal government, it doesn't realize it's in competition with other nations around the world. And so sometimes people don't get very creative. I met an optometrist this morning. And uh, someone you hooed back there. We got an optometrist back there. And, uh, right. and this optometrist later. wanted to change his billing address. He moved his office from one side of town to the other. Same zip code, same post office. But he wanted to change his address. He got a form from the federal government. This is so he can get reimbursement for the federal government for the services he provides for the poor and seniors. The form he gets to change addresses is 33 pages long. 33 pages long. He calls someone to ask how to fill it out. He calls someone in government. They tell him what to do. He sends it in. They send it back. Was it done right? Got to do it again. Another 33 pages. He calls another person. They tell him what to do. Doesn't get it right the second time. Third time's a charm, though. This takes several months, during which time he's not getting the checks for the work he's doing for people who need his care. That's, that's how government works. Then I, I was at Wawa's. I wanted to order a sandwich. You press a little a touch tone keypad, all right? You just touch that, and you know, it's, the sandwich comes in. You touch this, touch this, touch this. Go pay the cashier. There's your sandwich. It's amazing. It's amazing. <laughs>